Sonic Freedom. It's touching the ground right there. Quick, go out, get the pot of gold now. There it is. And it's touching over there too. And it's touching over there too. Oh, two pots of gold, one for each of us. Look, there it is. Let's go get it. Protesters are trying to stop coal seam gas mining under the Pilliga on the edge of the Great Artesian Basin. And the New South Wales State Government's just brought in laws that have just passed the upper house and are about to be signed in by the Governor that make it illegal to protest, that make it illegal to stand up in front of bulldozers. But more. This is what the protesting's like these days. Juggling knives. Basically, CSG means that there's a disruption to the water. And I'd just like to show you the scale of uh, size for the Great Artesian Basin relevant to um, the size of Australia. Just here is um, on the outline. You can see it basically encompasses four states. Where we are is somewhere in this vicinity here. So it goes all the way like from there, all the way through that whole part of Australia. And if you pollute any part of it, you pollute all of it. Four states worth. Four states worth of irreplaceable water supply. Stake is basically the food and water security for our nation. Because once the heavy metals are extracted from the groundwater and the aquifers become tainted, we can't use the water for livestock or in the farmlands for cropping. And also means that we can't drink it. This large area, no food, no water, no farming, no livestock. It's a national security breach for water and food. So we're here as protectors of the forest, standing up for the rest of Australia that we can be self-sufficient. Biggest coal mine in the country, eh? Going to be. It's not quite there yet, but it will be for 12 months. Oh, just taking all that soil up into the sky, eh? And so they're bringing in jail sentences for protesters now as well, eh? Yep. But none for the coal miners? None for the coal miners. It's very one-sided and it's, um, I think as far as po politics go, it's suicidal for the bad government to be so openly blatant on the side of the coal miners. There will be reper repercussions. I've been out here since 2012 in August fighting Whitehaven Coal um, right from the start and just watching the government just tick boxes that were wrongly filled, um, corruptly filled mm. which is why now we're protesting and then 11 of that government were found corrupt and had to either leave, stand down um, or move to the back benches and that's how down. Mike Baird got the job he was re-elected, and now he's continuing the corruption of the O'Farrell government by giving us higher, um, harsher laws against protesting, and by dramatically decreasing the fines for illegal mining activities. So how far have they decreased them, and how far have they increased them? Um, for protesters, the fines have gone up from roughly uh, from $550 to... Five thousand, five and a half thousand dollars. Um, the mining companies, for the maximum penalty for uh, mining without a license, used to be one point something million dollars. It's now down to five thousand dollars, just under what you would get for protesting such activities, destroying water, land, the environment, um, and farmland and the underground water. It's just blatant proof now that there is no line between the mining industry and the government. The two are the same. And that's because a lot of ex-government people are now working for the mining industry and the mining industry, the lobbyists, are now in government. Everybody that's affected by these new laws and affected by other laws um, need to stand up and and make this country, this state, ours again. 
and not the mining industry. Coal's dead in the water. There's, there's no money in it. There's no um, nothing in it for us anymore. As the world moves away from coal, it's just our state and federal government basically have got their heads up that the coal miners' ass. We need need to make a stand and stop it. And through protesting is the only way we've gotten anything, any rights. It's the only way people, women have been allowed to, to vote. Aborigines are classed as human beings, not flora and fauna. It's why workers work 38 hour weeks with holiday pay, loading, um, and, and decent breaks. Hang on. Think freedom. Happy, 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 happy. Like America.